Hello again, YouTube, and I'm uh, back with a brief update. Um, I have switched over my entire system to be AC coupled, so now I have 1.17 kilowatts, basically uh, 1,170 uh, watts of power, so that's 1.1, uh, 1.17 kilowatts of power coming into the house. And uh, so, and we're at 9.25 in the morning, and I'm already pulling about 725 watts out of that kilowatt array. So uh, that's not bad, not bad at all. And so as you can see here um, with my system, it's been greatly sim simplified. Again, in that I have gone, gone completely AC coupled. So there, is, there are no charge controllers in my system. I don't have to worry about you know charging the batteries at all. Um, so essentially, just to kind of give you an overview, um, all of the power comes from my solar panels. Uh, through this particular uh, this uh, this box that I have made or this circuit that I've made to you know for a fail safe to protect my batteries in an AC couple configuration from overcharging. Um, so essentially, two this is just a fail safe uh, with two solid state relays. Um, this here is a uh, my just my load center, and the power comes in uh, from that box. Uh, to these two breakers and it kind of uh, works with my out on the output side of my uh, inverter charger and it flows from there into my Magnuson inverter and uh, my pure sine wave inverter and then from there uh, it kind of uh, mingles if you will with the input uh, coming from the grid so this is a load center or I'm sorry a circuit breaker 30 amp circuit breaker that's coming in from the utility and that comes in and to the Magnuson inverter. This device right here is just a battery lifesaver um, that's uh, connected to my 24 volt uh, battery bank and it keeps my batteries from, uh, from uh, sulfating. And over here, again, my panel looks very, it's, it, it looks clean to me. Um, so essentially we have a 150 amp uh, circuit breaker that breaks all connectivity uh, from the battery bank to everything else and a positive bus bar, a shunt for the Trimetric 2020 here that will give me a sense of what my voltage is and, and, the, and the amps coming in and out of my battery bank. Um, this right here is an, an automatic circuit breaker that uh, serves as a protection between um, the, the battery bank and this voltage monitoring relay here. And up here is a negative bus bar and the ground bar. I changed the ground from my inverter uh, to a six gauge uh, solid copper wire because that's what it, it calls for. Um, also, I don't have to worry about my batteries being charged or you know being maintained because with the Magnusine inverter here, there is actually a mode that you can put it in with this remote. This is a remote and it's called force float. And as you can see, my batteries are being maintained at a floating voltage all the time. Now, the key thing here is, as you can see, in order to keep these batteries floating, it, it's, only, it's only taking seven or eight amp, uh, point seven or point, you know, point eight amps right now um, to, to keep that. So that's basically next to nothing. So my batteries, in the event of a power outage, they will, they will be ready. Um, and so with an AC couple systems, your battery bank is, is liable to, you know, to die, you know, from old age as opposed to use. Um, so in a sense, this is it. Um, as you can see, I removed the diversion controller. I've also removed the, um, the, the 250 amp, uh, 250 watt grid tie inverter as well. And it great, everything is greatly simplified. Um, I've equipment grounded this into uh, into this load center here. There are some copper wires that actually go back to the uh, main panel because this is the load center. So it's, it's, it's grounded here, so we're fine there. And so, you know, it looks very, very clean. Um, I don't have to deal with a lot of DC wiring issues. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, you know, yes, AC coupling systems can be complicated. But once you get them in place, it appears that, you know, that, you know, everything is very, you know, very much simplified. You know, as far as here, there's very low pop DC power going through these these circuits here 
are these wires. And that's because over here, all we're doing is monitoring the battery voltage so that, you know, I can protect against over, uh, over voltage situations and, you know, it, uh, during a grid down scenario. And here, this is just monitoring. I mean, this is just signal circuits. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, wires that send uh, signals to the trimetric and the, uh, uh, the uh, remote control for the uh, uh, Magnuson. But anyway, as you can see, I'm at 100%. The battery voltage maintains at, at 26.2, uh, which is float voltage for an AGM battery bank. So, um, and you can't get any cleaner and, and simplistic than that, I don't think. Um, also, there is just a simple fuse between my trimetric and the battery bank just to, to keep it from uh, blowing up or stuff like that. And as you can see, it's only 9.30 in the morning and I'm already at 732 watts coming into the system. So, um, the, again, these microinverters appear to be incredibly efficient, incredibly efficient. So, um, this is essentially the system. The system here, you know, the only other, other thing that um, uh, I'll just mention is, you know, everything is, there's circuit, circuit protection, overcurrent protection throughout the system. Um, I mean, there is uh, circuit overcurrent protection here in the form of these breakers here in the form of this breaker as far as incoming this is outgoing um, circuit protection on the battery bank circuit protection for my uh, voltage monitoring relay you got a fuse and not only that but i have a transfer a manual transfer switch that this output is that's acting as a load a, a critical loads panel and uh, that's in my garage and it's got circuit protection there so there's circuit protection throughout the system one thing that I, I do like, it's now in, you know, automatic. Everything is automatic now, um, pretty much, in a sense that, you know, I no longer have to deal with timers or anything like that. And I no longer have to deal with diversion loads and diversion controllers or anything. Not saying that they were bad or anything. It just, now, as you can see, it looks, it, you know, all of this is pretty anticlimactic. I mean, it was just, that's it. It's clean. Um, very, very clean. Um, and it's efficient and you know and as you can see uh, you know my power is, is steadily climbing um, and it's again right now it's only 932 in the morning and I'm already at 735 watts uh, coming in uh, from my solar array so anyway YouTube just an update and to let you know that I've gone fully AC coupled and I think it's pretty good okay take care YouTube